A team leader is able to approve timesheet hours for staff and also to approve or decline leave requests. When the team leader logs in with the supplied username and password given to him by the employer, he'll be able to see the staff that he has access to. When he selects the name of the employee at the top, he'll see that the details on the right appear, showing the contact phone number and address. There's also a balances screen which allows the team leader to see the status of the accrued and entitled leave and how much leave is taken and also the balances. There can't be any changes made in this area by the team leader, but he can choose to make a new leave request on behalf of the employee. This would be useful if somebody called in sick, for instance. The team leader could set up a leave request for that sick day. At the top of the screen, above the employee's names, we have three icons. The second icon across allows the team leader to see the timesheets for the staff. For instance, employee B, if we click the Edit pencil, we can have a look at how many hours were recorded for each day and make adjustments here. It does rely on the fact that the employee has pushed the Submit button on his timesheets from his PaySource phone app in order for the team leader to be able to see this. The team leader can then click Approve when they are satisfied the hours are correct and move to the next employee. We've already approved employee A. Next, we'll have a look at the leave calendar. At the top of the screen again, the third icon across will show us the leave calendar. And we can see what leave needs to be approved. Employee B, when I select that, I can see that employee B has requested some sick leave. As the team leader, I can approve that and make a message if I want to. Take another day off. I'm very generous. Below that, I've got an employee A annual leave request. When I select that, I can have a good look at it. He's wanting 11 days off and it's annual leave and I know all about this so I'm going to approve it as well. Just say approved. Whatever message you type will appear back on the employee's phone as a notification. At the top of the screen again, the first icon will allow me to go back to the main view and I can see the employee details on the right. And that's pretty much it. Not too complicated. If the team leader prefers to log in on their smartphone and approve the timesheet hours, they just log in on the same username and password. At the top of the screen they'll see the pending staff and they just touch on the employee's name to begin with. They'll be able to see the hours recorded and can choose approve or edit. Once they've approved, the next employee's details will appear on the screen. They can edit or approve. And again. Good. If we want to have a look at any time that's been recorded for leave requests, we can choose the leave button here at the bottom. And any leave requests will appear. Here is our employee B again. When we touch on employee B, we can see that he's requested sick day, there's a message there and we can choose decline or approve. We're going to approve again. And that's it. All done.